finally, my last question of the day is number two. So I have a systems of linear equation question. So it says linear system of 3x plus 5y equals 10 and ax plus 2y. 2y equals b. It has an infinite amount, it's infinite number of solutions. So it has, I have infinite number of solutions. So uh, find the values of A and B. So in order for us to fall, fall us probably we have to say, what is, what does it mean when we have an infinite amount of solutions? Well, in the systems of linear equations, uh, ge geometrically, uh, we have two lines, right? So I have one line here, and you can say I have another line. It can cross at a point, right? So I, I know this here is a point of intersection, so there's one unique solution. Um, so whenever there's an infinite number of solutions, I am talking about one line and another line basically right on top of this singular line here. So I have two lines on top of each other, which will give me an infinite amount of solution. So in order for us to do that, how do we figure out this is going to be an infinite amount of solutions? We'll have to make both of these equal to each other. So in order for us to do that, what we have, what we can do is I get a three x plus five y equals ten, and this is our we know all the uh, we know all the uh, numbers in this um, in this kind of uh, linear equation, but we don't know a and we don't know b in this one as well. But we know the two here, so we can work with this two. So we can say that three um, a. What we can do is we can actually divide um, kind of both all of these guys. Um, into an equation here. So that's what they're doing here as well. So they're dividing everything. Um, they're dividing this equation by this equation here. So you can get 3a equals 5 over 2y. Or actually, it's simply just 5 over 2, right? Because the x's cancel out, equals 10 over b. And what we can do now is we can act, we actually, we're given, we can uh, create some type of, um, uh, some type of um, equation here. So I'm going to use these first two guys here. So I have 3a equals 5 over 2. And I can say that if I wanted to isolate for a here, I would get, I'm going to multiply a by both sides here. So I get 3 over 5 over 2a, which means that a is going to equal 3 times 2 over 5 here. So a is going to equal 3 times 2 is 6. Three, uh, it's going to be 6 over 5. So a here is equal to 6 over 5. That's great. And then what I can do also is I can do I can do this on the right side of the equation. Right? I can also say that this blue guy, 5 over 2, is also going to equal 10 over b, right? And then all I'm going to have to do is isolate for b. So I have 5 over 2. I'm going to multiply b by both sides, which equals 10. And then I can isolate for b. So b here is going to equal 10 times the reciprocal of 5 over 2, which is simply just 2 over 5. So b here is going to equal... 10 times 2 is 20 divided by 5. Here is simply just 4. So this here is our correct answer for these two problems. So A here is 6 over 5, and B here is 4. And as you can see, this here is the correct solution as well. So solution here is correct. Good analysis. So we finished 13 questions today, more than I expected, which is great. I think there was also a repeat as well on one of the questions, but that's totally okay. So again, thank you so much for watching the stream. Again, my name is Joey. I'm a one class teacher here. I stream um, Monday to Fridays, uh, basically Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays are math, um, kind of math, my math days, and then Tuesdays and Thursdays are my chemistry days. So you can kind of um, uh, check out the videos there. And again, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.